All right. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my go through on the Oregon Trail. So we left off in Independence, Missouri. So now it's time to hit the real trail for Oregon. Let's see. Yeah, five legs. This is the big one. But yeah, they also have some smaller trails that you can do that are pretty cool. Like the nature trail, if you just want to go on the trail and see all the animals in the game, basically. Yeah, some DLC. Tranquil Trail. That just goes on forever, pretty much. California Trail was pretty fun. We got to use some, uh, I think some nitro to get some gold. And then, uh, yeah, they have a couple of Native American ones. And that's like the... Oregon a bus is like the super hard version of the trail. I was able to do that one. That was very, very hard. But yeah, it's just going to be doing the regular one. And let's go there. Yeah, Oregon a bus was not fun. Yeah, Oregon City. Went there on my Lewis and Clark expedition. Independence, Missouri. I didn't get to go to Fort Kearney or Fort Hall, unfortunately. Or Fort Boise. I did go through Idaho, but I was north of Boise. So I'm going to cut through the Rockies and the Lolo Pass and all that. It's kind of interesting. The game starts in May. I always started probably March 1st. It may have been a little snowy, but, you know. Gotta start early, man. You don't want to get snowed in in the Rockies. End up like the Donner Party. 2,000 miles. Alright, time to pick our characters. One annoying thing about this game is you can't pick their... characteristics, and you can't really pick what they look like. So basically, if one of these characters, like Hannah here, looks like my fiancé, so... And that guy kind of looks like me, but I'm not dim-witted or messy, so fuck you. <laughs> so, so, yeah, see now Hannah looks like my fiance. I'll just go with her. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll go with Zachariah for me. Wouldn't say I'm necessarily brilliant, but, you know. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying picking characters, because in the old games you could just name them whatever you wanted but in this one you kind of have to get lucky with the selection at least you can rename them but i mean you can't yeah you know. uh, i guess i'll go with nelly here that could be my fiance's niece uh, dang tough choices man yeah i guess i'll go with eliza uh, so yeah here you can rename them you just can't, like I said, pick their characteristics and stuff. Which is kind of annoying, but yeah. So yeah, I'll be the farmer. And the thing too is, with each character, they have their own hidden talents too that you don't know what they are. Which is kind of annoying, because in real life you could just be like, Alright, what are you good at? <laughs> you know, what can you do? But in this game you have to kind of discover it by trial and error. There's my fiance. She is not a slacker in real life at all, but you know. This character looks like her, so I'll just go with that. And this will be my fiance's niece. She is kind of frail, so I guess this kind of works. Then I'll just make Eliza some random person. <laughs> Surrounded by chicks, man. It's gonna be a long trip. I don't know what's a random name. I guess Mary. Yeah. Could have just left at Eliza, but. Yeah. Charming and brilliant, man. Alright, time to go shopping. This was a little easier in the older games, but uh, at least I'm very experienced, so I kind of know what we're going to need. The problem is, uh, we always need more than we get, so it's kind of tricky. 
But yeah, these are just kits if you don't want to be meticulous, but we're going to be meticulous on this one. Alright. Yeah, naturally, because I did all the missions on the computer one, I had all the wagons, but we only got three to start off with. Yeah, I'll just go with the Murphy. Don't have that much money. Because in the old games, you could be a banker and have extra money and all that jazz, but not here. It's a little different than the PC version, so I'm having to like figure out. All right, how do I get to the? Oh, here we go. Yep, gonna need bullets for sure. Fishing comes up, but it's not really. I mean, twenty dollars is a lot of money. You gotta have clothes. That's the only way to stay healthy, pretty much. Medicine, yeah. Parts, I mean, eh. food's a must. Yeah, you gotta have food. Especially protein that keeps your body from wearing down. Parts is tough. I mean, you never know. You never know. And the thing, too, is with every trail that you complete, you unlock a different class of character, too. Like, you can have a carpenter, you can have a hunter, all that kind of stuff. But when you're just starting out for the first time, you just get the miscellaneous preacher, farmer, adventurer. They even think you can unlock a doctor class too, which would be helpful. But yeah, I got the uh, wagon oil grease thing. Gotta have those. Those are a must. Especially later on in the trail because your wagon is getting pretty rough. So Yeah, these parts take up a lot of space and cost money, but... I think we're looking okay. It's a lot of money though, but I'll have about a hundred dollars left. Alright guys. And then the interesting thing, too, is you got to remember that people did this in real life. So, I mean, they literally sold everything for this journey. I mean, imagine selling your car, your TV, your bed, and moving 2,000 miles across the country. Like, imagine that. Oh, I and mean, you basically have to walk there. Oh, yeah, Ava. Yeah. This is a good uh, little side quest. And yeah, there's tons of people we're going to meet along the way. Tons of side quests, all that jazz. So. Keeps it pretty fun. Yeah, Moses. Let's see what Amos has to say. Doing my best, Amos. Why we have three or four. <laughs> I got some. Don't know if I'll need them, but I got them. Right, let's go visit Moses from the prologue. He was a real uh, mountain man, real life, but uh, unfortunately I think he caught cholera. Petrified forest.
Yeah, unfortunately, Moses died here. Yeah. Died in independence. Alright. I think we're about ready. So, yeah, we got across Kansas River. I think that's where Kansas City is nowadays. I don't know why I didn't go to Fort Kearney. I don't even... Where is that? Nebraska? Kansas? Uh, yeah, see all their undiscovered talents and stuff. So you basically have to figure them out through trial and error. Got my logs. Yep. Still trying to figure out the controls, naturally. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road, or the trail. Not really a road yet. Oh yeah, and when you get to a town, you can go to a barber and a doctor and stuff. I'll save your ass, but it gets a little expensive. Let's see if there's anything to trade before we go. Real grease, this stuff's very valuable. Let's try haggling. I don't know who's good at it. Well, time to find out. Hey, I'm good at it. Cool. Ooh, still too expensive though. <laughs> well, at least I know I'm good at haggling. Let's see how much I can get this down to. Let's give Mary a try. Yeah, always not bad. Yeah. Tricky, tricky call. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I guess let's do it. Never know when you'll need medicine. Alright, we should be good. Let it begin. So cool, I got to go to Independence, Missouri just a couple of months ago. Always wanted to go there ever since playing these games way back in the 90s. Alright, we gotta walk across Missouri. Get on over to where Kansas City is going to be one day. Alright. Uh, don't know where to go. Uh, yeah, let's eat pretty well. Yeah, filling. Yeah, meager. Nah, let's, let's eat well. I got food. 16 pounds a day. So what, uh, four pounds per person? It's a lot of food. Uh, we are burning calories, so. May 1st, Time to find out who's, uh, I don't even know what that symbol means. Attitude. <laughs> Who has a good attitude?
Oh shit. Uh try Mary again. Uh, two. So that had to be exhausting. The the Pony Express didn't exist. Uh, when did it run? 1858, 1860, something like that. And it was only in existence for like eight months or something, 18 months or something, because it came right when the railroad and the telegraph was coming around. So it's made obsolete once those inventions got going. Coyote. I thought they went in the journal, but I guess not. Yeah, maybe I made a mistake not bringing bait, but eh. I forgot about this guy. Can't tell Jane's frailties showing. Yeah, imagine the stars back then. On my Lewis and Clark expedition, I actually didn't really get to see too many stars. A lot of clouds, unfortunately, but supposedly it's supposed to be beautiful up there. Even down in, like, uh, southern Wyoming and stuff, you can sometimes see the Aurora Borealis and stuff, but no such luck for me, unfortunately. Skink. <laughs> ah, shit, mosquitoes. I got pretty lucky with the bugs until I got to like Great Falls, Montana. That's when uh, a lot of bugs. Well, Lewis and Clark wrote extensively about all the mosquitoes they had to deal with and stuff. Yeah, it kind of fucks with our hygiene, unfortunately. 
keep an eye on that. You gotta keep an eye on all this information. Kansas City. I love that town. I need to get back there. Yeah, this was always a big deal in the Oregon Trail games. Crossing a river. I probably would have just stayed in Missouri. I mean, Missouri is a nice place. But, uh, yeah, man. Maybe there are just too many people, too much government. Yeah. Not enough land for sale, so you can't even build a house. I mean, who knows? They had their reasons, though, I'm sure. Well, I got to drive over the bridge <laughs> when I went to Kansas. All right, do we do the ferry? Do we ford it? Do we talk it? Always the question. Let's look at the ferry. Five, ooh, a three day wait period. It's a lot of money too. Try haggling. Mary, go get him. Kind of a tough call, yeah. So I don't want to wait three days, and it's a lot of money. And remember, this is an auto save game, so I, if I fuck up here, yeah. All right, let's give it a try. 61%. Yeah, this is scary. So you can really get fucked up doing this. Oh, hell, somebody could die. You could lose all your stuff. Fuck your wagon up. All kinds of trouble. Holy shit, we made it. Thank you, God. Hey, we didn't get cholera too. Ah, Big Blue River. No idea where that is. Yeah, somewhere in Kansas. Alright, well, I don't have bait, so no need to go fishing. See what's in this undiscovered country. Tired. Oh yeah. Uh, no, 
Eventually, when I first played this, I would dig up the mound, and it would turn out to be a child's grave, which would naturally depress everyone, so... Yeah, let's just uh, keep moving. Just in case. Fucking hell already. Kind of trying to figure out how to move shit in this. There we go. Yeah, we can use these books and things to upgrade our characters. Just gotta pick which person. couple days keeping the wagon uh, healthy. Oh, fuck. Shit. Okay. Now I gotta guess who's a good doctor. Let's try Mary. Fuck, she wasn't good enough. Joy. Great. Thankfully, I've never had a broken bone in my life, but, you know. Hey, bison. So now i got to walk to Oregon with a broken leg. Beautiful. Kanza. Kansas, Kanza, yeah. Forty eight days, Jesus Christ. hygiene because if you don't do that you can get sick and the last thing we need is somebody with the flu or something yeah. I guess we'll kill some time
Big Louie. I like the soundtrack in the game. It's a little monotonous after a while, but uh, it's very nice though. Just wish they had more songs is what I meant. But for what there is, it's very good. Yeah, I hope this game was successful. I mean, I know a lot of people from my generation grew up loving these Oregon Trail games, so hopefully uh, a lot of people bought this one. Yeah, it's good for the kids, too, to learn about history and survival and stuff, so, you know. don't see towns out here even nowadays it's pretty spread out especially once you get the Nebraska and Wyoming I mean there's just nothing out there which is kind of nice I kind of miss that <laughs> way too many people back east See what we can do. Forty nine percent. Hate to lose the time, but I need the rest anyway. Oh boy, fifty three percent. So good. Ah, all right. Did we make it? I didn't like that noise. Holy cow, we made it. Yeah, no you? Thing blew over. Alcove Springs. Enough of the rivers for now, please. Mushrooms.
Well, let's see how beta is with nature. And just like in real life. <laughs> nope. <laughs> she knows food though, she would know probably mushrooms maybe. But I mean how would you acquire knowledge of mushrooms in a place that you've never even been to? Back then, anyway. Time to see who's a good shot. <laughs> ah, not the easiest aiming mechanics. <laughs> Uh, I will always love the hunting in the original horror control games. Oh, there we go. Bison, bison, bison! I'm gonna give you bullet count. Fuck. Damn it, fuck. Uh, that should be enough. Hey, right, good job, Mary. Yeah, pelts are pretty important. Yeah, yeah, and you gotta unlock a knife by doing another challenge or trail. Kind of annoying, but yes. Food supplies are okay. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> why is there a puffin in the middle of, like, Kansas? To be fair, though, I was seeing seagulls in Montana. I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? We're like 800 miles from the ocean. What are you doing out here? I don't know. Birds get around, man. Birds get around. I'm in kind of northern Georgia, and sometimes we get heron and pelicans from Florida up here. Oh, great. I'm being a dandy. Well, Jane's got my back. Loyalty. Yeah, I think loyalty is basically... If they have a low loyalty, they'll actually, like, leave the party. So... You want to have pretty good loyalty. Yeah, just because I'm refined, I'm going to freak out about a hole in my shirt. Well, this place looks fun. Out. Come on. True love, man. I hope, anyway. Yeah, 
Yep, and along the way I did get to see lots of names carved into the stones. Very freaking cool. Okay, that is overpriced. Get him, Mary. Can't wait. Still kind of overpriced. trail. <laughs> hey, we're almost there. Okay, 176 miles. Okay. Alright, let's see if Mary knows anything about carpentry. Okay, knows a little bit. I don't know. It's all about tough decision making, man. Oh, great. Oh, 
fuck. Yeah, let's get him some food. Fucking hell. Now what? Well, I'm a farmer, so therefore I know something about animals. Let's see if I can help it. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Good enough. Now what? Fox. Nah, I'm not gonna hunt a fox. They're too cute. I know people don't like them eating their chickens and stuff, but foxes are very cool. So, I'm not gonna shoot them. Maybe I'll get lucky and a uh, bison shows up or something. Let's see. Besides, I don't have that many bullets. Uh, give me a bison. There we go. <clears throat> I'll probably do. Might be time for coffee. I don't know how that stuff tasted back then. I think it tastes like shit nowadays, but who knows? Might have been even worse back then. something. Oh, fuck. Let's guess again. Shit. She might recover, she might not. Lovely. This isn't too bad. Jeez, now what? Oh no! 
You guys are hygiene. Fuck. Fabulous. Alright, we gotta get to the fort already. California Trail. Oh, <laughs> more berries. Don't fuck up this time. Oh, great, great. Yeah, there's her frailty showing. The fuck now? Oh joy, I got shot now. <laughs> Jesus. Let's see if Jane knows anything about medicine. No. God, Jesus. Oh my god. Well, I better not die. We very pissed about that. Is that good news? Take care. Be safe. Not very exciting, but yeah, our hygiene is shit. We're getting there. We're getting there.
Yeah, you would have seen a lot of trauma and death along the way. It would have been pretty rough. there. Finally. No, we are not making fucking heart attack. Jesus. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Might as well eat, I don't know, tree bark or something. Well, we made it. First big step along the Oregon Trail. I kind of remember that. Alright, Fort Kearney. Try and get there one day. I was a couple of hundred miles north of here along the uh, Lewis Clark expedition, so I didn't come back down to Nebraska until uh, Chimney Rock, I think. Yeah, I was up in the Dakotas. See what's going on here. Harold. Ah, it's Ava's father. Flap doodle. <laughs> Well, competition, huh? Big Louie again.
that. I went to St. Joseph and Council Bluffs. St. Joseph is pretty cool. It's where the uh, Pony Express ran out of, and uh, it's where Jesse James was killed. I like Council Bluffs, too. That was cool. They had uh, Charles Floyd's uh, memorial there. The only guy who died on the Lewis and Clark expedition. I even worked out at their uh, Planet Fitness gym. That was the nicest Planet Fitness I ever went to. Uh, getting kind of low on bullets, but... I feel like bullets are going to be easier to come by than the freaking um, medicine. Got kind of a witty bunch of us. Hey, there we go. That's what the soldiers gave us. I think the first time I went through the game I tried keeping them all, but then when I realized how valuable those are, especially on the Oregon or Bust, uh, I don't know what to call that, mission or whatever. Yeah, that definitely came in handy. Yeah, Oregon uh, or Bust was very hard, very hard. Like I said, it's basically the hard version of the Oregon Trail. Hard mode. That's a lot for bait, man. That's a lot of money for bait. Bullets. Fuck. And I think we're kind of doing okay. Tempting, tempting. Oh, that's a lot, but come on, got a gunshot wound and a broken leg. Let's fix this shit. Expensive.
Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Gotta try and save money though. some rest. Hey, well guys, that's it. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Continue our journey to Oregon. <laughs>